Cristiano Ronaldo's life is jeopardized. See, Ronaldo is the game's goat. He's now so good that professional ballers despise him. So, I decided to compile a list of the best footballers that despise CR7. Please wait until you see the legend who betrayed him. But first and foremost, there's the guy who will never forgive Ronaldo for taking his medal. Welcome back to another exciting video from Super Info Live. Today's video is about top footballers who hate Ronaldo. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. The Ballon d'Or competition in 2013 was fierce. Three men were competing for the honor. Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, and Frank Ribéry are the three best players in the world. The previous year, Messi underperformed and fell off. So Ronaldo and Ribéry were the top two players. Ribéry led Bayern Munich to the Bundesliga, DFB Pokal, and Champions League trebles. While Ronaldo did not win any club trophies, his goal scoring rate was impressive. As a result, my man scored over 60 goals that year and even single-handedly propelled his team to the World Cup by hitting a hat trick against Sweden in the final playoff. These performances were enough to earn Ronaldo the trophy, and after the presentation, Ribéry was furious that he didn't receive it. Then he came out and made a big statement about Ronaldo. During the Ballon d'Or Gala, I learned a lot. I told my wife right away that I was going to lose. The Ballon d'Or is no longer only awarded to the top players. Everything comes down to politics. I'm not envious since this honor no longer means anything to me. So, he says the honor no longer means anything to him. But am I checking those shades? Man, come on. Nobody believes it. Ribéry was clearly still irritated. Ronaldo got the award instead of him. And I'm quite sure he's not inviting Ronaldo to Thanksgiving. But, well, at least Ribéry didn't come out and declare he despises Ronaldo. Unlike the next guy. Antoine Griezmann. Man, you must be sick of Cristiano Ronaldo. To be fair to Grizzy, he just can't seem to get a break with CR7. Griezmann missed a penalty in extra time in the Champions League final against Real Madrid in 2016. Ronaldo made him pay a few minutes later. Because in the ensuing penalty shootout, Ronaldo netted the game-winning penalty, handing Madrid the cup. And it didn't stop there, since Griezmann and his France national side made it all the way to the final on home soil in 2016, only to lose to, well, CR7's Portugal. Then, in 2017, Ronaldo scored a hat-trick to knock Atletico out of the Champions League semifinals, only to knock him out again in 2019 with another hat-trick. Bam! When it comes to Ronaldo, Grizzly can't stop taking L's. That's why he told Ronaldo, I despise you. Damn. Griezmann later stated that he was merely joking, and he did it with a smile. But I'm not certain Grizzly was joking. Griezmann could have won a slew of trophies if it hadn't been for Ronaldo. Griezmann knows Ronaldo is that amazing, he just can't help himself, which is why Javi despises him. Javi and Ronaldo took the El Clasico rivalry to a whole new level in 2016. Javi sparked this one when he made this stunning statement about the Portuguese superstar. Messi is the best player in the world, according to those of us who know about football. Ronaldo is a player of his generation who is exceptional. But Messi is better than everyone else. Xavi didn't leave it there. In April 2016, he accused Ronaldo of lacking football brains. Ronaldo was enraged when he heard these remarks. Instead of a lengthy response, Ronaldo got right to the point. And he was iced. Xavi has yet to win a Ballon d'Or. And I've won three times. Yikes! That's endgame stuff, CR7. But it was evident during the conversation that Javi despised Ronaldo. And it's most likely not his fault. My man has dumped a suit on Javi and his crew so many times he probably can't count. And that could be a Barcelona thing. Gerard Pique, like Javi, is incapable of dealing with Ronaldo. After Pique and Barcelona won the league in 2016, they decided to have an open bus stop parade across the city. 
Instead of focusing on the festivities, Peek opted to troll Ronaldo by hitting his comma celebration to tease him. Peek claimed he did it as a joke. But, as with Javi, I can't blame him. Ronaldo has cleaned the stands with this guy so thoroughly that Peek has been forced to retire early. But, as you can see, Ronaldo sometimes gives the opposition reasons to dislike him, like this one in 2017, when he and a legend exchanged expletives. The Madrid Derby pitted Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid, and it was a bloodbath. Ronaldo was enjoying a tremendous game, but it was getting to him, and he soon went crazy and shushed the Atleti fans out of nowhere. Now, club great Fernando Torres observed all that was going on, and when Ronaldo tried to do it again, Torres rushed him, and this time, he used his words. What's the matter, clown? Ronaldo was up for the verbal brawl and promptly answered, go home, idiot. Oof. Torres and Ronaldo have a long history together. This isn't just about Madrid. Torres represented Liverpool during Ronaldo's first tenure at Manchester United, and the fights were always fierce. Maybe Ronaldo should have toned down his gestures a little, or maybe he was really pumped because he was representing Real Madrid. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.